I watched Dragon's Den as I was becoming an entrepreneur, like starting in high school. That gave me so much inspiration yeah. to go build a business. Have you ever thought about what it takes to land a deal on the Dragon's Den? Well, I'm on set right now talking to the dragons themselves on how to make a successful pitch. I sat down with the dragons as they were wrapping up filming season 17 of the Dragon's Den Canada. I came for the deals and I stay for the entrepreneurs. They gave me some insight on the do's and don'ts of pitching, how to land a deal in the den, and what we can expect to see in the upcoming season. When I was on the show last time, Michelle was in kindergarten. <laughs> and, actually, that's true. That is true. And she would watch me <laughs> in her daycare. <laughs> Sing. Uh, da, da, da. man wearing a mullet. Yeah. <laughs> if you were to give a tip for anyone pitching on the Dragon's Den, what would it be? Practice so many times, not because you need to practice, because as soon as you get interrupted, everyone gets nervous and there are six people firing questions at you. So knowing your numbers and being super confident in everything really makes a huge difference. The people that we like, because such a pressure mounted environment moves so quickly, first thing you gotta do is sell yourself. Yep. I want you to be confident about your ability. Get the dragons to fight over you. Because uh, first of all, come in with a reasonable valuation because the problem is a lot of people come in with asking for too much right and then they get uh, the tough questions and they never get a deal you come in realistically you're probably gonna get deals from everybody and they're fight when they fight over you guess what the value goes up let them sit let them do that so when you come in just think about what your business is really worth and uh, don't be as aggressive as you want to be. Just tone it down a little bit and you're probably gonna get multiple offers. I hear it time and time again from all you guys. Know your numbers, know your numbers. I mean, why aren't people getting, why aren't people getting the good question? <laughs> You've got 16 years of homework to be able to do of the show. We're on our 17th yeah. season. So it, you should be able to predict not only what we're gonna ask, but what any potential investor is gonna ask. So I think they really do need to pitch to people before they come here if they haven't done so before but uh, we get it sometimes it's nervous we can be kind of tough and scary but you do have to know those things you know you can ask any one of us almost in our sleep um, all of our big numbers and we will tell you like this because it's what's made us so high level give me like five like five numbers I would need to know well you know last 12 month revenue you know gross margin net margin uh, uh, EBITDA if you have any debt what's the debt What's the expense on and the debt? And how many you, investors you have? How many investors you have? What's the cap table? Come on, I mean, there's got to be what like percentage of your get. business is already sold? Right. You got it. Already Big given away. You know, and, and, like, and it's funny that you're laughing because you, you, we actually got two people today that didn't know that. They're like probably about ten. About we were like, excuse me, if we are going to offer you a deal and we'll come along into your business. We need to know how much we're gonna have and there's no rounding. <laughs> yeah. And it's so. important because if you come across as not necessarily 100% not knowing, but more being evasive, it gets right. even worse. Some right? people think now they're I trying mistrust to you, so now I'm walking yeah. away from it, right? I know that the person is the most important part. So what kind of characteristics do you look for? Listen, uh, to me, it's somebody who's authentic and genuine, somebody who's honest, self-aware. They know what they're good at. They know what they're not good at. They're willing to listen to the advice that they're given. Um, and, and, you know, they, they, they just genuinely have a conscience. And I know that's hard to explain, but I can always tell when somebody's got a genuine conscience, that they mm -hmm. really are caring about doing the right thing versus just trying to get a deal. Yeah, I, I want people that are engaged. Yeah. That are fun, engaging that you want to yeah. spend some time with, and honest and transparent. Looking for focus. I mean, you know, the, the problem is that after two years of COVID, I think everybody's all over the place. People think they've got to pitch us with 15 ideas and another 15 growing uh, uh, ideas. You know, I, I think if you have one good idea and, and, and you can concise it enough and you can explain it and you can show us where you want to go from point A to point Z, I'll actually go in. I'll, I'm actually interested to look at that, right? Instead of telling me, well, this is what I'm doing now. I'm losing money with this, but I'm going to do 15 other products <laughs> that I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do them yet. But you know what? <laughs> I want your money to do it. Sometimes when they confuse us or they have so many different trains of thoughts and don't can't really paint a picture for us of the future, it's really hard to see how we can not only help them, but also make some money. Season 17 of Dragon's Den premieres on September 15th, and here's what to expect.
I mean, Robert's back, which is amazing. <laughs> we have a whole new energy on the show. I mean, back after 10 years, what made you come back? Me. <laughs> he came back yeah. for me. You came back for me, didn't you? I did. I missed and Arlene. And I said, who's that new loud guy? And I missed Arlene. <laughs> I thought Jim was still here. Aww. But uh, no, I moved back to Canada a year ago. And this is where it all started. This is a great format for Canadians. And, you know, we Canadians can take on the world. And I did. And it doesn't mean we have to live away. We can come back home. There's a lot of young people. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, talented people who just graduated school and go, I have this great idea. And they came here, they got financing, and they're gonna go kill it. Any last tips you would give anyone that's coming to the Dent Pitch? Come show and tell Canada what you have to offer. You never know. I think a lot of people think I'm too early or I don't have everything figured out about my business plan. But one of the great things about coming to the Den is that you've got six different investors with six different opinions, backgrounds, experiences. So you just don't know um, what we're gonna say or who we're gonna back. Thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe to our Narcy channel to see more great content.